Hi everyone, it's me Neharika and it's Christmas. Yes, I love Christmas season. Like all I see is the beautiful lights, your secret Santa gifts, the amazing malls that are lit up, the Christmas tree with the most beautiful ornaments. Yes, that's Christmas and of course eating some good food as well. Now with Christmas, of course, comes learning some new English phrases and some new English idioms as well. So it's a great opportunity for me to teach you guys some new phrases and idioms related to Christmas. Well, you guessed it right, I am in the Christmas attire. So I am your secret Santa? Well, not really. I do not have a lot of gifts for all you out there. But yes, what I have for you is the lesson with so many phrases that you can use this season. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring. Now we are going to start with the very first one, which is Christmas Eve. And then we have Christmas Day. Now people get a little confused when they are asked that, hey, what are your plans for the Christmas Eve? Or what are your plans for Christmas Day? Well, you need to get this right. Christmas Eve is actually celebrated on 24th of December. Okay, so that's on 24th. And Christmas Day is actually the 25th of December. So if you have plans, probably you have plans to go to the church on Christmas Eve, so you can say that, oh, on Christmas Eve, I have plans to go to the church. And if you're doing something with your family on Christmas, so which means that you're doing something on 25th of December. Okay, so that's the difference. Well, let's move to a phrase that is stocking stuffer. So what exactly does stocking stuffer means? Well, stocking stuffer is actually a tiny gift that you end up buying for Christmas for your family members or for your friends and you stuff it in the Christmas stocking. So that's stocking stuffer for you, like a small gift. So you, the, you see these stockings, the Christmas stockings that are around the house and you place the tiny gift that you've bought, which is actually a stocking stuffer and you place it in the stocking, okay? So if you would like to use this phrase, well, you can say that this evening I'm gonna go buy some stocking stuffers, okay? So that's how you use it. Well, let's move on to another phrase, which is secret Santa. Well, yes, what exactly does that mean? Well, Secret Santa these days is very common. Uh, it's basically when people or friends or colleagues exchange gifts, but anonymously. Yes, so you would not reveal that, hey, I am gifting you stuff. It's basically a bowl of chits with all the names, like your friends or your colleagues. You pick up a chit and you get a name and you actually buy a gift for that person, but you do not reveal that you are gifting it. You just go place your gift with that person's name on it and you place it under the tree. Yes, so that's a secret Santa gift. So like a secret gift. Okay, so did you guys have secret Santa gifts at your workplace? Well, if you received something really nice, do let us know, like share it in the comment box. The next uh, idiom that I have for you uh, related to the Christmas season is to trim the tree. Now, trim the tree doesn't mean that you go and actually trim the Christmas tree. No, you don't do that. Well, it actually means that you decorate your Christmas tree. So, you know, people end up buying uh, beautiful lights uh, to decorate the Christmas tree or they buy um, ornaments. They're called Christmas tree ornaments and you actually decorate the tree. So, 
rather than saying that, oh, I am done setting up my tree or I am done decorating the tree. Well, why not use this interesting idiom by saying that I am done trimming the tree, okay? So which means that you're done decorating it in a beautiful manner. So like last night, I bought some beautiful wooden ornaments to trim the tree. Okay, that's how you can use it in your conversation. Let's move on to the next one, which is White Christmas. Well, I actually was really, really lucky. Um, I did get to see a beautiful White Christmas uh, in New York. Uh, I think it was in 2008. So yes, it's been 10 years and I think that was the most beautiful Christmas I ever experienced. Now, white Christmas actually means that it snows on the 24th eve or on the 25th and you actually get to experience a white Christmas. Like, it is so beautiful. I mean, it's already the festive season. Everything is lit up beautiful lights and imagine it's snowing. So yes, white Christmas is basically, it snows on the Christmas day. Okay, well let's move on to the next one which is the holiday spirit. Well, as you see me, I am already in that holiday spirit. So what exactly does that mean? That I am so excited. Yes. So when you are really, really excited during a festive season, well, you use the phrase of uh, a holiday spirit. So I am in the holiday spirit. Like December is one of my favorite months. But imagine even before December arrives, I am already in the holiday spirit. And like if you see me, I am like all dressed up as a Santa. Well, because I am in that holiday spirit. Yes, super, super excited for Christmas. All right. Well, let's move to another one, which is the more the merrier. Now, when you invite people um, for Christmas and uh, probably you're just like 10 people and then your friends are like, hey, can I get another friend of mine? And I'll be like, oh, more the merrier. So which means more the people, better is the situation. Yeah, so you are going to have a lot of fun when there are so many people around you. So if someone says that, um, hey Neharika, well, uh, thanks for the invite, but you know what, my cousin is here in town and I would like to get her. Is that okay with you? And I'll be like, oh, of course, absolutely. More the merrier. Yes, yeah, so you use it when there are more people and it just makes the situation so much better. So like, more people, more fun, or more people, better the fun, okay? Moving on to the next one, which is Christmas came early. So what? Christmas is not on 25th of December and it's actually on the 20th? No. Well, Christmas came early, that means that an unexpected news, like a good news that you just heard. So you're like, oh wow, Christmas came early. So it's like, for example, your friend, uh, she was supposed to deliver a baby in the first week of January, just for an example. And uh, her husband called and said, hey, Janice delivered a baby boy. And I'll be like, oh my God, this was so unexpected. This is amazing. It's great news. So you're going to be like, Christmas came early. Congratulations. So Christmas came early, it actually means that you heard something really, really nice, which was unexpected.
So it's unexpected good news, okay? Moving on to another one, which is be there with bells on. Well, these are the bells. I know they're making too much of noise, but I think it's kind of cute. Well, it's Christmas, guys. Now, what does that really mean? Be there with bells on. Does that mean I have, I am going to be there with this band on, with these bells on? Well, not really. Be there with bells on is actually a response to an invite. So if someone is inviting you to their house this Christmas and you're absolutely willing to go, you're really excited, then you're going to be saying that, hey, of course, I will be there with bells on. Okay, so that's how you can respond to an invite. Okay, moving on to the last one for this Christmas season, which is Christmas comes once a year. Now, when and how do you use this in your conversation? Well, let's say that you are in the mall and you are shopping for some good clothes. You spot an amazing dress and it's super expensive. So what, you're just going to leave it? No, nah. well, that's going to trouble me in the night if I leave that dress. So you know what I'm going to say? Oh, come on, Christmas comes once a year. So you use this when it's okay. I know it's expensive, but guess what? It's just kind of telling yourself that, oh, let's just pick it up. So Christmas comes once a year. I'm just going to pick up this dress. Or you can actually use it while you're eating some good food. Yes. Now, because it's the month of December and you indulge in a lot of food, a lot of cheesecake, a lot of pudding, and a lot of bread, but you're like, oh my God, I'm going to gain weight. But you can just say, hey, Christmas just comes once a year. So it's okay. I am going to go continue indulging in food. Okay, so that's how you can use this phrase. It actually means that don't think too much. Let's just go ahead with it. Okay, so these are the phrases and idioms that you can use this Christmas. So hope I made this Christmas a little more interesting and fun for you. So go ahead guys, enjoy these phrases, use it in your conversation and I will be back soon with a new lesson. Till then you take care and Merry Christmas to all you guys out there.